We welcome you today to our video Bites of Bread here at St. John Lutheran Church in the town of Center. For the last three weeks we've been looking at the armor of God as, as Paul describes it for us in the letter to Ephesians chapter 6. And if you remember back, we've talked about various things, but it says, For this reason, take up the full armor of God, so that you will be able to take stand on the evil day, and after you've done everything, to stand. We've already looked at the belt of truth. We've already looked at the uh, righteousness that God gives us as a breastplate. And last week we looked at the sandals of the, of the readiness that comes from the peace of God's gospel. Today, as we continue our devotions, we look at the next piece of armor. Paul writes, At all times, hold up the shield of faith, with which you will be able to extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. You think about a soldier, he has his uh, shield and he uses it for what purpose? To defend himself from attacks by maybe a sword or as Paul writes here, from the flaming arrows. And you don't think about that much in our battles today because we don't do that, but you think about a shield. It, it was that protection and, and, and those arrows, they would come from a distance and you held that line of shields over your head to protect yourself from those arrows. We think about that in a spiritual battle. Obviously, the evil one is the devil and, and the sin that he has brought into the world. And God tells us that we have this shield of faith. And, and what is faith? Faith is that gift of God that is the word which means trust. I trust God in all that God tells me, and it's true. And, and for most of us, that day we were baptized was the day that God gave us the shield of faith. The shield of faith which trusts that Jesus actually is our Savior. The shield of faith which trusts that all that God says in his word is true. The shield of faith that, that reminds us that when the devil lies, uh, that we have the, the wonderful assurance, the trust that God is telling us the truth. You take, for example, Eve, when she went into the battle against the devil in the Garden of Eden. And the devil, in that form of a serpent, said, If you eat from this fruit, you will be like God, knowing good and evil. Eve, for a minute threw that shield of faith down and did not trust God, did she? There was a part of her heart which said, you know what, I don't know if that is true. If, if I eat that fruit, will I be like God? And that felt pretty enticing, but she forgot the evil one was throwing that arrow, that flaming arrow to destroy and hurt and harm. You think of David when he was looking out from his palace and he looked down and he saw Bathsheba as she was, was on the house next door and obviously what happened he threw the shield of faith down and the devil fired an arrow a flaming arrow of lust and look what happened it hit he didn't trust that God was with him to guide him and protect him and and he forgot that God had given him everything that he had and everything that he was and he committed the sin of obviously adultery and murder and, and lying and all those things because he threw down the shield of faith what in our lives is the devil shooting at us? He is shooting lots of different kinds of arrows, isn't he? Sometimes the arrows are apathy and laziness. That I don't really need to go to church because I know about Jesus. But that arrow, if we don't have the shield of faith, is going to hurt and it's going to harm, right? Because laziness and apathy in the heart of a Christian, if we do not have the shield of faith that trusts that God is the only way to heaven, what happens? Then we get off the track and the devil begins to attack that, that heart of ours that becomes kind of weak and kind of strays from the path. Maybe the devil throws you those arrows of materialism. In our country, that arrow is fired pretty often, isn't it? The flaming arrow that I would like to have more stuff because everyone else does too. What does the shield of faith do? It tells me I don't need I don't need more possessions. I have Jesus, and that's the only wealth that counts. And if I seek first His King, then all God, all those other things God will give to me. But if we throw that shield of faith down, boy, that arrow of materialism hits hard, doesn't it? And it burns, and it leads us into eternal destruction sometimes. As we think of this battle, and we think of our lives as Christians, probably the one the devil uses the most is that the Bible is not true. Or at least not the whole Bible is true. Or how can you believe that this Bible, which is 2,000 plus years old, actually is a book given from God? Or because it was written by men and it obviously was corrupt and, and there are problems. Again, that is a flaming arrow and there are lots of them. And the devil fires them off 
each and every time he wants to get us off the track. And, and if we hold up the shield of faith, what does faith say? The Bible's true. God told me it's true. He tells me all scripture is God-breathed. And he tells me that it is useful for teaching and rebuking and correcting. And he tells me that I can do, use this Bible to make me wise for salvation. But if we throw down that shield of faith and that trust in God, what, what does that arrow do? It creates doubt. The evil one gets gets a little foot in the door that I sometimes question God. Or, or does God really say this is wrong? Or does God really not like this sin? Or can I do this and not be a sin? And we forget, I need the shield of faith. So we go out into battle. We have the belt of truth. What a joy, the truth of God's word. We have that breastplate of righteousness, which tells us God did all the work. And those feet that are ready to go into battle with the gospel of peace. Today, may we find peace and strength and joy as we go into battle with that shield of faith that helps us against all the attacks, the flaming arrows of the evil one, the devil. We, we are strong and we can say no to the devil. We, we are not perfect. That's why God's forgiveness is the answer. That's why we need the gospel of peace. But what a joy it is to go into battle with that shield of God's wonderful faith, worked in our heart as a gift that we're saved by grace alone, through faith, not by works, so that no one can boast. Let's bow our heads and pray. Dear Lord and Savior, we thank and praise you for giving us the shield of faith when you brought us into your family, for many of us at our baptism, and that you have strengthened that faith each and every time we've heard your word and through the gospel brought to us in word and sacrament. Strengthen us and help us to always bring that shield of faith into the battles around us. Help us to use it to, to extinguish those arrows that the devil throws at us each and every day. And above all, when we have failed and, and forgot to bring that shield of faith, help us to humbly confess our sins and seek your forgiveness. And with that shield of faith, trust that all our sins have been forgiven. We ask all this in your name. Amen. God's blessings as you go into battle, strengthened and encouraged, holding that shield of faith as you seek to extinguish the arrows of the evil one. God's blessings to you this coming week.